go, I go? Uh, let me just go. So, cleanse and purify, Blood Angels briefing. Force of Gretchen infiltrators in Sector 306 poses a grave threat to security at the bridgehead. Your squad must kill or drive back the Gretchen and secure the perimeter. Though you will be heavily outnumbered, such is the meat and drink of the Empress Chosen Warriors. The strength of righteousness is with you. So, you are one combat squad of Space Marines with Mark 7 power armor. Each Marine has a bolt pistol and frag and crack grenades. In addition to this, Sergeant Lazarus is armed with a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Your three Space Marines are armed with bolt guns and one Marine is armed with a flamethrower. Mm -hmm. you, you will deploy second, but you will move first. Your objective, you must destroy the Gretchen River possible and minimise your own mm -hmm. losses. If all three Gretchen mobs, in this case it's two Gretchen mobs and an Orc mob, mm -hmm. are broken at the end of a Gretchen player's turn, after I've had a chance to rally, you will win automatically. Otherwise, the player with the most victory points at the end of the game is the winner. Uh, so, my orders. This is a great place to shoot at the Umis from. They think they're coming to boot us out, but they don't know there's loads of us grots up here and we're going to kick their butts because we is the meanest, toughest, shootiest grots around. Let's hope they don't shoot back much. So, my guys wear flak armour and my mobs are equipped with I have two mobs armed with auto guns and one mob armed with bolt pistols and axes. I set up first within 12 inches of my own table, and, but I move second. Don't let the Umis get you, get them first. The Gretchen player receives the following victory points for destroying Space Marine squad. So if I, can, I, if I can inflict three or more casualties, I get a victory point. If I wipe out your entire squad, I get two. If you can, you have to wipe out a complete mob to get one victory point. And you have three mobs? And I have three mobs. Okay. So, happy with your guys. Mm. Okay, some special information for your, about your Marines. Your bolt gun armed and bolt pistol armed Marines, if they stay still, mm. can shoot twice. Like, um, Balgrim. Move. Move the shoot one, stay till you shoot twice. Don't worry about talking about other games. This is literally you have the spec you have the rapid fire rule. So you anyone armed with bolt guns, because the Chaos Marines get it as well, they mm -hmm. can shoot twice. So your guys get to shoot twice. Uh, I don't have frag grenades, so cool. Yeah, uh, if you want that you can take that as your as your frag grenade template as well. Okay. Pokey pokey pokey. If you have any questions or any issues, tell me. I will just quickly get some more. And you can de quickly deploy some markers. Uh, everything on the table is a single wound. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't need to worry about more than wounds. You can go on to, uh, I can go on to Overwatch. In theory, you can as well. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and you can be hidden, jammed, yeah, all that sort of stuff. There's, there's, there's good things. We might ignore some of these things at the moment because I generally can't remember how it's supposed to go. Totally. I will only I will keep a turn of the turns. I'm not too fussed about victory points. What's the maximum number of turns? Four. 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 So right. I've got to get to you. Well, yeah, you, you are attacking me, I am defending. So... I will say this because we aren't because I don't I don't have the buildings anymore. I used to have the original buildings. I do not know where they've gone. I have a sneak feeling they've just <laughs> vanished into the ether. Um, so we're using these ones for the purposes. So the build if you're inside the buildings, it's half your move essentially. Mm -hmm. And if you can see out and be seen, mm -hmm. you can shoot and all this sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, being hidden uh, is that losing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Yours rapid fire rules. If a space marine model doesn't move at all and is not engaged to hand to hand, you may declare as using rapid fire. So, bolt guns, storm bolters, bolt pistols, twice during the shooting phase. So, what you can say, because your flamethrower guy has got a bolt pistol, he can draw that and shoot with that instead of using his flamethrower. Mm -hmm. But you have to stay still for this. Okay. Um, worry about damage and stuff like that. To be honest, I'm not going to get really any saving throws because. Don't need to worry about it. your else. basic save. Sixes. Flak armor. Ooh. It's the old flak armor, not the new flak armor, because the new flak armor gives me um, f is, is fives. Mm. This is now sixes. So I will deploy my mobs. Mm -hmm. 
I will just say for the camera, the only adaption we have made to this is because I literally do not have enough Gretchen. Um, I've had to put in two mobs of Gretchen and a mob of Orc instead of three mobs of Gretchen. Mm -hmm. So I am going to put my guys in. Uh, I'm going to put them in here. Because they're... Uh, two inch coherency at all times. Okay. What I will say is when you're inside the buildings, it's two inch. Um, you can move anywhere from ground floor to the, as long as you, you just have the same two inch of movement. Mm -hmm. Shooty, shooty, shooty boys that ever, that ever did shoot. Men's light squads. Hmm? Apart from the gun, they squads. No, they're Gretchen. Mm -hmm. They are Gretchen. They are. Horrible little snots. Sneaks. Horrible little snots. <sighs> These guys will be hidden for the moment. I'm not going to allow them in the open. They will be hidden. So that's fine. So that can come off. Deploy your marines, remembering you have to keep them within two inch. Done. You're just going in straight there. Yeah. Okay, nice and simple. So that was deployment is fun. You will take the first turn. We don't need to worry about rolling for initiative or anything like that. If we need any, any the special dice I have, I will say this: certain weapons do require more than a d6. So One turn. I'm not gonna. Okay. So first turn. One second. Uh, yeah. So turn one of second edition game begins. So you you have no charges, good, so it's just normal movement for you. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm going to read up something about Overwatch. Because I might just drop a couple of bits on my turn I might just drop my guys into it. You done? Uh -huh. Cool. Well, nothing, I think, in range. Anything shooting? Right, your range is. 24. You're going to be, yeah, you have your little sub card. 24 for your bolt guns. But I ran. Oh, you ran, so you okay. can't shoot. Okay. So, movement done. That's shooting done. We don't have any hand to hand combat. Don't have any psychic. Mm -hmm. No rally. Cool! My turn. I literally just need to read something very, very quickly. I've read all this, I just wanted to read it again because I've now had to do this properly and my brain's just gone. And of course my brain has just feed dumped all the information I've read. Because mm -hmm. I haven't played this game in literal decades. Yep. If I remember rightly, I can position the flame template anywhere I want when I fire it. Okay. As long as one, as long as the, the pointy end is on your guy. Yes, right. I am gonna. Hmm. What do I want the boys to do? Well, see many iron suits run away. <laughs> Damn. Right, movement first. So, grot. I'm gonna get the sort of Gretchen out the building and get them forward. Mm -hmm. So, cousin. There's half of them are leaving the building, so they just move their normal four. Mm -hmm. But they're going to do an eight. So that's a two. So they don't suffer the loss. But the guys who are on the upper floor are going to lose two inch to get out. So they only move six inch. Uh, they're going to move. Yeah, already I start whacking the terrain around. Mm. Right, that was movement. I have nothing else. Shooting! Rots. What a gun. Range of 24. Will be the Space Marines, this is where I find I'm not within 24 of you. 
Ah. No, I'm just out. Oh, for the love of crying. No, I am. I'm out of range. Okay. And I did a full charge forward. Oh, well, no, no, no. sorry. Uh, uh, oh, that's annoying because I can't. Ah, should have gone with Overwatch. Oh well, my bad. Um, uh, no shooting for me, hand in combat, none, psychic, none, rally, none. Cool, uh, turn two. Space Marines. So shooting, what is your target? The new Gretchen. So you're shooting at that, Gre that Gretchen mob, okay? Yeah, and yeah, I'm within 20. Within 20? Okay, so your ballistic skill is 4 as you're a space marine. Yeah, I'm in 3. So you're on the base of 3. You're shooting at uh, targets in, in heavy cover because they're in the building. Yeah. So it's minus 2. That's 5. That's it. So, bang, bang, bang. Nothing. I've got six in total. <laughs> You've got six in total. Okay. Shooting's done. Hand to hand combat, we have none. Psychic, we have none. Rally, we have none. My turn two. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm so, my movement. The boys are going to move eight. What's their armour? Same. Same as aggression. Mm. Only on a flak armour. Mm. One second. Yes, I know I'm an orc and I'm thinking about it. Just call me a blood axe. Mm. Commando. Ah, blood axe plan. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be weird. I'm going to put them there. They're going to run. Mm -hmm. It just means that next time I might be able to get them, get them all blazing away. They've all run. That's all my movement. Gretchen will shoot the Space Marines. Mm -hmm. Now you're in 24 of them. Yep. Cool. My ballistic skill is free. So I'm on four's base. You're out in the open. Uh, I'm just on fours. And I have ten boys. Ten guys? Mm -hmm. Ten ten mot ten grunts. Nine. Any money for it in the gun? Excellent question. What a gun. Uh if I was under twelve I'd get a plus one. Mm -hmm. Or as a strength free weapon. Same to my armor. Do you know what I'm gonna get me? I'm gonna get me dice tray out. Right. This is my dice tray. <laughs> I only need four dice. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Are you happy to do the other scenarios? Yeah. Cool. We might have some issue. Yeah, I might need you to proxy out some, some more of the Gretchen for later scenarios. But the good thing is, I have the proper dreadnought for this, the flat cardboard cutout. Mm. 
So I need to just hit you. One, two, three, four, five. Make five armor suits. Oh, no, sorry. Wait, 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 Alex. Stop. Okay, so I hit you with five of them. Just about normal. So my weapon's toughness is. So my weapon's strength. Five or more on a d6. So roll to wound versus space marines because it is a strength free weapon against your toughness of five. So your toughness of four. You're not a terminator. Yeah, so I'm on five. Make two saves, please. On. No saving modifier? On basic freeze. <gasps> One of your marines drops! So the closest to me. I killed him. No, you immobilised him. You never killed a marine. Yeah, he did. He'll get dug back to the uh, puffer's carry. As long as there's someone left to do that. Yeah. Semantics. Twenty-five percent of five is one a bit. I need to kill two. Yeah. Don't I? yeah. Also, you get the shaken rule. You do not. It's third or fourth edition when they brought in. They shall know no fear, and you yeah. become basically. It's just yeah, no modifiers. You just take your morale. You, if you fail your morale test, mm -hmm. you become what they call shaken. Mm -hmm. You cannot advance. You can still shoot. You can still fight in close combat. And there is a bit where you can actually dive into, if you're already in close combat, you can dive into close combat. Mm -hmm. You don't have to run it. Now, what happens is if my guys get broken, they have to withdraw back to cover. And then once they're in cover, then I can take my morale tests. You will, in theory, in order, I believe that even with your shaken thing, if in order for you to successfully pass a morale test, you have to basically be in cover or something like that. I will yeah. double check it if it happens. Once it does, it might... But um, you basically keep, get you just can't advance. However, if you fail a second morale test, then you break like everyone else, and you have to. And then you 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 don't disappear off the table. What you do is you well, sorry, you don't vanish. You fall back. You you run away. You run to you run to cover. So you so yeah. <clears throat> I I will now I now I've worded out the whole thing. I can explain it a little bit better. When you're shaken, you can continue to take. Morale I mean, tests uh, and stuff like that. I just can't advance. You can't advance. That's it. But you can do everything else. You can't. You can't dive into close combat or anything like that. You just because you, you cannot go any further forward. It is to represent the fact that yes, you're a space marine. Yes, you are a genetically engineered superhuman with the fe finest equipment the Imperium of Man can provide for you. You're not stupid. Mm -hmm. Glorious last stands are at the end of it all, not the beginning of the campaign. They happen at the end of the campaign. So I've done that. Hand-to-hand -hand combat, we have none. Psychic, we have none. Rally, we don't need to do. Your turn three. Now. Turn three. Before anyone asks, yes, our deployment zones were 24 inches apart. Okay. It's just the fact that he decided not to bother deploying as close to me as possible. Okay. So he moves into cover. Yeah. Remember, you must maintain two inch. Uh -huh. Veterans, the veteran chaos marines. I think it's the scouts, imperial space space marines, scouts, veteran chaos marines, Eldar scouts, and like and various other light troops. Basically, get I think a four inch deploy a dispersed formation so they can do four inch. Oh, and Blood X commandos and stuff because they're scout troops. He's in the 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 okay. So you've moved, yeah, shooting okay.
scratching in the open. Okay. Two shots. In the space room, yeah. Yeah. Happy with that. So you require not that. He rolled a double one. I do not. He doesn't normally play space marines. I will be honest. He was. You hang on. When you have when you've had forty k armies, you have played what? Elder, tau, orcs, space wolves. Okay, so you have a played space marine army then. Oh, yeah, I remember your space wolf army. You, yeah. uh, did you actually ever use it? Yes. Once. Twice. Oh. Okay. And I lost both. Yeah. What was the longest arm? What was the longest running army you ran? Orcs. I had for about four years. Mm, fair enough. And oh, I also had a Black Templar army. Welcome to that one. So we've got it's almost space marines. It's all them. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Let's see. My 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 catalogue is. I had Imperial Marines first. Yeah. Then I got, hang on, I've got to get this in the right order. Then I wanted an Imperial Guard Force, so I built an Imperial Guard Infantry Company. I still have it. Complete. We have lots of shiny toys, like a Bane Blade from Forge World. Two. I only have one Bane Blade, but I do have a Valkyrie from Forge World. I have a Bane Blade from oh. Forge World. I have the, hang on, uh, it's the it's the big, it's the the long barrel Lehman Rust variant. Oh, oh you got ya. Not the Execution. The tank killer. Yeah, the tank hunter. Um, I got one of them. I have the Forge World version because I got the long barrel. Really, really long barrel. I, nice looking I knew brick. somebody who had Dark Angels, first company complete. So he had nothing but Terminators. Well, he had probably half, a third of them would have been Terminators, the rest would be veterans. Half Terminators, half vet. Each squad had a transport, either Land Raider or Rhino. Uh, Rhino. Yeah. And one of the few metal Thunderhawk. Oh, he got what? He got one of those. He got one of them. That's as lucky because well. they were like two hundred fifty quid back in the day. He never built it because he couldn't get the damn things to stick together. Because <laughs> I remember reading a White Dwarf when they showed off one of them when they did the Ultramoons Company complete, and they actually had. The thousand space marines on the field with minus Calgar plus the Ultramarines chapter. Yeah. And I, no, I like. There were two Thunderhawks. There was one sat on a landing pad at the back of the image, yeah. and there was another one on a flight stand. And yeah. And there was something like, tw and, and somebody might correct me in the comments on this one. There was something like they made fifty of them. They didn't make many. They were expensive. Yeah, I think it was sit down miniatures, cast out fifty of the things. And I think four or five of them never left GW. No, they stayed in Nottingham. They never the, left. The, they never um, left the thing. It might be painting hall or paint. Yeah, because I've, I've this is the thing. I've been to Games Workshop in Nottingham, the big one in the industrial estate. Mm -hmm. And I will say this: I like the museum. I really actually like the museum side of being able to look around and have a look at all that sort of all stuff. That's scenery, really nice. Scenery. All the scenery, yeah. all the old figures, everything like that that they had in the cases. There's some really nice stuff. And so the rest of the place is basically just a really big games workshop. Yeah. Um, as in, as in a games workshop. All shop the diorama they've got sort of. as well. Yes, because they have all those. They have a lot of them. One of the ones I've seen is the fantasy, where the the empire is getting assaulted from every direction. I can't remember by who. Could be the undead. Hmm. Uh, Oh, he also had Imperial Guard with the White Pit hats. Oh, we had the Praetorian Guard. Yep. I see them randomly. I will see like the Praetorian Army set that you. That's the the, the yeah. like, It's like a couple of platoons worth of infantry, or it's a platoon plus some extras. Yeah. Every time I see it, I'm there going, "No, I don't need it. I have enough. I already have over a hundred and." 30 odd guardsmen yeah. with about 10 to 15 Two with about platoons. 10 to 20 three platoons three pl oh company i have i have a proper co i have three platoons of guardsmen with a command squad and three rifle squads yeah 
I then have two support squads, one with heavy bolters, one with, mis with missile launchers. Yeah. I then have two veteran squads, one which is done up as scouts and one which is done up as engineers or pioneers. Yeah. I then have a Lehman Rust tanks platoon. So three battle, so three battle cannon armed Lehman Russes and the Vanquisher, the Vanquisher variant, and then my Vanquisher variant. I have a complete basilisk battery of three. Yeah. I have a Hydra, Forge World Hydra, mm. because I have ridiculous amounts of money when I was in the army. I have a Stormtrooper squad, not the original, original Stormtroopers, because being a foolish 12 year old, I sold them off because I had the sergeant and I had a box of stormtroopers mm -hmm. with the big backpacks and the and the hot shot the, the old style hot shots with the berries and very I nice had, uniforms and had the sergeant with the hot shot pistol I and had the, the original space marine box set where they had the binkies I had a box of them as well and the short the bumpy shoulder pads I had a box of them as well I yeah. I'm 99.9% .9 certain somewhere in my somewhere in the cellar I still have the squad of marines and I still have some bits for them as well. Mm. Oh yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so so my show off moment is I started with Space Marines, got up to about a company's worth because I somehow managed mm. to get a hundred of them. <laughs> Ultramarines, I actually had the original Ultramarines Army box set mm. that they sold for like 40 quid in the games workshop. Yeah. That was the basis of my army, and then I added a few more bits and pieces. The only things I have left from there is a squad of veteran marines, my commander. The chaplain mm -hmm. and the five bikes, but the five bikes are now in my Night Lord's army. Mm. I then got Imperial Guard Force, 130 odd plus guardsmen mm. and various incarnations and every toy you can imagine. Because again, I was in the army, I had money and I wasn't married or had a girlfriend, so I could just spend it on whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. I also built a Sisters of Battle army. Every single sister, bar one, was without helmet. Mm -hmm. The only sister who had a helmet was a Repentia Mistress. I had an Immolator, a pair of Rhinos, still have them. Mm -hmm. I will be rebuilding my sister's army yeah. for second edition because I've got the Codex so I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I also had Night Lord's army, as I've mentioned, which is mostly the original stuff. Uh, I... The, only, the, the newest thing I think in my entire Night Lord's army are the Possessed Marines. Mm -hmm. Because I can't use them in second edition anyway, so it's like, oh, that's fine. Well, I've got enough to make up two or three combat squads. I've got veterans, and I can have terminators, and I've got a lord. The only problem is my lords. I have another lord I can use, another guy I can use instead of my lord, because my lord has bat wings. Because yeah. it was the, it was meant to be a jump pack, yeah. but I'm not allowed jump packs yeah. as a chaos marine in second edition. I had. Oh wait, I can. I've just got to pay. Plus, I have to pay for it plus fifty percent extra. I'm at the Inquisitor figures. Had a squad of them. <laughs> I had a four man guard team. I had Artemis. The Space Marine. Yeah. There yeah, he was, yeah, the Space Marine. The Gunslinger, the one that okay, had two pistols. Mm. A female Inquisitor. Mm. I had about. I also had the Monk. Okay. I had about eight of them. Cool. Because uh, I only have had four, but I had. Um, I had Sergeant Black. Mm. I had the Commissar. Yeah. And I had two versions of the private. One was with a las gun. The other one was I made him a melter gun. I also had an Eldar figure. Oh, yeah, the Eldar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I played once, and I was a hand to hand against an Eldar. I went to pin him against the wall. You played through the wall, didn't you? I forgot I had a power glove. <laughs> a power glove. <laughs> Yeah, I took his head off and went went to the wall. <laughs> well, that was the, the, I forgot to lower the power setting. Yeah, because totally. yeah, you could do that. Like, yeah, because the, the whole thing of the Inquisitor was it was more of a role playing game. It's um, a single figure type game. Yeah, it, it it was the role playing one. Yeah, it was fun because <clears throat> um, one of the blokes was building his own. Ogre Guardsman. Oh, an ogre. Mm. Ogre. With a stub gun. It's him making himself. Mm. Yeah. And the figure was that big. It, it 
yeah, he's huge, yeah. Because because I because I remember the Space Marine figure was huge, wasn't it? Because I know I've seen I'm cause heavy. Because I don't think they ever did a Chaos Marine figure, but I know a lot of people would take Artemis and they'd re refig him over they, to get a world um, into or something like that. Because they don't want to fight the Marines. Yeah, because that was the thing. Because you'd have the one Marine, it was one or two Space Marines, and I think three. And then I, I'm sure they people used no, to just take inquisitors. yeah, and then they just take that figure yeah. and then they'd chaosify it yeah. because they wanted to be a chaos marine. Because I was on and iron about getting it was Artemis, uh, one of the um, other figures, and turning him into a night lord. But that would have required a lot of work. The bloke who's building the Ogryn had thirty figures. Oh, inquisitor figures. Yeah, mm. nearly all. Single side, yeah, no, a couple of doors, a couple, mostly the guard, in, in, yeah, because you can use yeah, yeah, because all the doors, yeah, you had one off. Mm. You can use come in, we're gonna put this box, don't <laughs> mm. He also had, I think, he built himself the right scale vehicle to go with Inquisitor, okay, god, yeah. It was a dreamy staffy. No, he hadn't, didn't have anything else to do because he just sit there in his office and drink coffee all day, didn't he? He was my tiffy. In my, I was in the company physics section. He was my tiffy. Yeah, so he didn't do anything all day because he, he had you to do all the work for him. He's, he's an advisor. He just sits in the office and does paperwork. Yeah, yeah the days where a tiffy... Oh, no. No, um, Remy Sergeant, oh. who's going tiffy, oh. was only more on the normal side who wasn't going tiffy. Huh. Yeah. Come on, yeah, so say, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stop. We'll stop reminiscing. Okay, I want the Gretchen mob is going to advance. Therefore. Mm -hmm. The boys, fire on the line, firing the line. Just take that off. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. We're, gonna be, we're not gonna be goths for five minutes. We're gonna pretend that we're um, blood axe. All right, boys, form a firing line. What's that? Stand in a straight line. Shoot the old, Shoot the units. Okay, I can only get. Yeah, I'm gonna double move my orcs. To... Can't, they don't actually double move. I'm just trying to close with you. They're going to shoot first. I'm on sixes to hit you now. Because it's still. Kill two, knowing your luck. Okay, we'll just say, because you aren't. No. You're, still, you're still roughly, you're, you're still under 24, but because you're now in hard cover. Yeah. Mm. No, the bulk of the squad's in hard cover. Oh, three out of the four are in hard cover. Two hits, wounding on fives. Mm -hmm. No, blatter, 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 blatter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, they can see. Yeah, the ones can actually see the, the space moment. Flamer. Yeah, they can see. Well, they can see him. Yeah, because he's directly ahead. Uh, so you can either try shooting at every or him. You have for me to shoot at him? I'm going to shoot at it. Well, because yeah. he, I'm shooting the squad. He's the only one out now. I'm going to, I'm going to count it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only six dice this time from the other Gretchen mob. No hits. Blatter, blatter, blatter. Shooting done. Hand hand combat done. Psychic done, rally then, blast turn, turn four, space marine. So movement, if you have any. Charge is double movement, yes. Yes, eight inch. Not in range. You will lose. Okay. So mm. what I will do? Yeah, he's in the building. 
so I'm going to use the door as a shooting, shooting point. Okay. So, I haven't measured. Everybody is going to try and shoot your front unit. The orcs? Yeah. Okay. I'm now going to check. You want to see if the flame throws in range? flames in range. Okay. So he basically leans over and flames up. No, he's not the flamethrower guy. He's got a bolt gun. There's your flamethrower guy. Oh, Christ. So he catches through them, through them. There you so go, Tim. You will catch three, I reckon. Three of them, yep. Okay. There you do. Okay, three of them. So, three of them are caught automatically. Yeah. So you're wounding them. Three. Strength One. four against my toughness of four. Fours. So three rolls of four. Two successfully wounded. So I get to make an armor save. No, you don't. No, I don't because it's a flame thrower. Oh, same minus. modifier as minus two, so that kills. To the boys, so I will have to take a morale test for them. I have to take a morale test now for them. I have made you move me out to me. Um, uh, yeah, finish, finish the squad shooting then. Sorry, okay. no, I need Ten. to take a morale test for them. And oh, yeah, I've got to see. Um, roll a d6. One second, roll, roll a d6. Oh, he's on fire. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter, they're all the same. Was that Two bolt, bolt guns. guns, yeah, a bolt pistol into the same squad. Mm -hmm. It's all the same strength. I think all that, hits. Yeah, you're on ballistic skill of three, so you hit the orcs. Mm. Oh, Gretchen three. Are you, you shooting at the Gretchen or are you shooting at the orcs? Orcs. The orcs. Yeah, you're again. Yeah, yeah. It's um. So you need your weapon strength is four. Your my toughness is four, so you need fours to wound. Four to wound. Two. Oh, two. So two, I can't save them. That's true. Uh, the last man. No, that's it. Oh, you got a one. Six. My morale is seven. He surprisingly continues. One man. You boys are tough. Just make sure there isn't any other modifier on it. Mm. Yeah, it's up enough. Anything else? No hand to hand combat, no psychic, rally, mm. done. My turn. Mm. Move. I will declare a charge by the orc against your Imperial Marines. I don't think he's going to rake it. Oh no, he does. Yeah. As long as you move him one inch. Into contact. So hang on, let me just make sure I have done everything correctly here. Charges. Squad may charge double as move. Mission is not permitted. Okay. No movement of penalties apply for light terrain, such as open or zeroes. I'm not crossing any difficult ground. Uh, choose to surrender half a moment to pass over an obstacle, which is one more in hand. This includes fences. Mm -hmm. no, I'm not doing that, so because it's literally I'm just running up to you to punch you in the face. Let me make sure I've not missed anything. Because literally, I just run up and then we do melee at the late and we do at the end hand down combat in a bit. Yeah, declare charges. Yeah, that's it. Yep, that's it. He's in. He's he's run up screaming obscenities at you. No, you can't shoot. <sighs> no, I can't. Damn it! Oh well, that's uh, da, da, da. so no shooting for me because my orcs can't, my Gretchen can't shoot into close combat. You can shoot Gretchen, you might kill him anyway. I'm not doing it. Okay. So, hand to hand combat. 
He is in. Uh, It goes really slowly. Any opposing models whose bases are touching may fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat phase. It does not matter which player's turn it is, all models fight. Only pistols and close combat weapons can be used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So... I'm assigned. Um, I'm up against your flamethrower guy. Okay. No one else. I will I will confirm very quickly. And break test. Because I don't know if you can bring your other guy, if the rest of your guys will come in. So... After the first round of combat. Yeah, uh, okay. In hand and combat phase, all models engaged in hand and may fight. Models are allowed to fight all round and not just against models at front. It's not multiple combat, it's just my guy versus you. Okay, nice and simple. I get 2d6 to make my attacks mm -hmm. because I have one attack base and one plus I've got a bolt pistol and an axe. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, I'm charging. Nope, that's a plus one to my combat score. Mm. No, I don't, but I lose that because I have a minus one because you are behind an obstacle. Okay. You roll your dice, so you get however many dice you have for your attacks, and that's it. So. Just, just absolutely terrible. It doesn't matter which one I use. Each player picks his single highest scoring dice and adds his weapon model's weapon skill to the score. He then adds any relevant modifiers from the close combat modifiers chart. So I would have got one for charging, but I don't. I lose that because you're behind an obstacle. Don't get anything for having an axe. Blades and swords. Yeah, it's just close combat weapon me. Anyway, my my weapon skill is free. Four. So you add that to yours? No. The player with the highest combat score wins the combat. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's you because I got five in total. Nine. Nine? Yeah, five and a four. Compare the combat scores of both combatants. So you inflict four wounds on me. One arm, one leg, a head, and another leg. The difference between the scores is the number of times the winners hit the loser. Throws the damage. For each hit caused, the attacker rolls a d6 and consults the damage chart. So, you are... Because you're just basically using your... Fist. Let me just confirm something. This is going to sound like a dumb... Dumb thing to say. Yeah. Um, don't get EK as a bolt pistol. Yeah, that's. I just want to make sure whether it's. A, I think it is the strength of the weapon. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It is. So you use the bolt pistols. Um, but again, it's still strength four. Minus one. So you just inst you insta pop my guy as long as you wound him, or she's on fours. Yeah. Killed him. Yeah. What you need? You won that close combat. Same throw because I don't get any. And that was quite hand to hand combat. It's a lot easier than nowadays. Yeah. Especially when you have multiple combats. Believe me, if I'd managed to throw. Remember this, that was between two figures basically hitting each other. Yeah. If I'd managed to get all five of my boys into close combat, then it would be a roll for all five of them. Mm. Then it gets horrible. Now it's a lot different from what it is nowadays. Uh, nowadays it's more mass battle orientated. This is still a bit of a hangover. This is a holdover from uh, Rogue Trader where it was more the role playing side of it and you were mm. you know, so close combat. I'm going to roll it. because that was it. I oh, won 1 0. Uh, one second. I think. So you won the close combat. You now get to. Do, do, do. Follow up. If all the combat slain, the model make a special follow up move, which is where you can move two inches. That's the next bit. Yeah. If we win the next turn. And yeah, end of turn four, my turn. That's the end of the game. Mm. I think I did the best way in trying to uh, win that. You managed to score one. One victory point. Because you wiped out my orc mob. I managed to score 
no victory points because I still needed to drop down Eight to your marines. Times. Congratulations, the space marines win. Well played. Mm. Who would have doubted? Trade round. Two minute, mm. two, two minute break. I'm going to go get my bottle of water and then we'll trade round. Let me have a quick drink. Um, drink before I start. So I deploy, then you deploy. Mm. No. I do you deploy. deploy, then I deploy. So I'm ready. you deploy. So you're already deployed, are you? Yep. You sure? Yep. I'm attacking you. Yes. Alright. So it was, I believe my deployment zone was. 12, I think. Let me tell you. Yeah, 12 in. Oh, I'm going to deploy here. Mm -hmm. I think you can see that on camera here. You can see one guy there. And the rest of the squad's there. Mm. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. So turn one, movement. My entire squad is going to double forward. Mm -hmm. Eight. Can't shoot, can't no hand to hand, psychic rally. Your first one. Okay. Can I jump over this? Yeah. Okay. They can move straight over it. Okay. Just making sure there. One, two. Yeah. Here comes the fun bit. Oh yeah, I have a patriarch. I did find my model of the Patriarch because I have the Def. So I've got the Deathwing. I've got Space Hulk original with Deathwing as well, mm. and a load of. I've got about. I think I've got enough to make up a squad of hybrids. Mm. I can make up about five or so Gene Stealer Pure Strain broods, and then I just use my Guardsmen as the Brood Brothers. I can make them wrap and mark them up as. Yeah. Nine can only range. That's one that are twenty-four. Okay. So I'm just looking at that and just going. Mm -hmm. He's out of range. Okay. Ooh. There you go. Going, oh, I do I get hard cover? Oh, my six, you see. Yeah, because you are shooting through it at me. Well, two hits. Two hits. Uh, no modifiers mm -hmm. to wound. It's just your, so your strength three versus my toughness four. Five. Four, yep. One, One. hit. One save. No modifiers. No, I fail it. He's the closest one. Oh no, the flamethrower guy got axed. Okay. Well, that screws up my plan. Yep. And that's it. Cool. Thank you. Eight. I won't lose the squad. Me. I need to think about this now. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
Mm. Well, this needs to stand still. Mm. So, shooting. Three of them, they will be fire targeting the front Gretchen squad. The ones where the balcony. Yeah, you will get hard cover. Uh, hang on. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Fives. Freeze. Force fives. Fives. Uh, one hit. Wounding on a. That'll do. One Gretchen is killed. Closest to me. Um, here we go. Um, yeah, your turn. When did I take 25% casualties? 25% casualties. So I need to kill three, three of them. No, I'll kill someone. Female and range. What are you measuring for? There's a bolt pistol. Yes. And I'm you just checking. Oh, you just want to see if you can shoot it, don't you? No, I'm just seeing with what dice score I need. Because up to eight is different from over eight. Uh, yeah, because you need two or more on a d6. Uh, uh, sorry, three or more on a d6. Yeah, because you get plus, plus I need four to hit. No, plus two on a d6 when you're under eight. Yeah. So, who's shooting first? They are the goths. So, Yorks are shooting at my guys. Uh, open, so shoot me. Yeah, 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 shoot me. You're just shooting me. One. Four, okay. Wounding. Um, fours on fours is fours. Four. A wound. Minus save. Uh, it's a minus one. one. So fours, fives, or sixes. Of course, I get a three. Hmm. They can shoot. Yeah, the rear mob can't shoot because the front mob's in the way. And they can shoot because the building's in the way. He's the only one who can shoot. One, one, one gross. One gross. One Gretchen. We all go down. Three. Okay. Three. No. Oh, there was a range. Okay. My turn three. Shoot my sorry, my move. My shoot will be. I'm going to hang on three bolt weapons. No, 
I'm going to throw a frag at that mob to front of me, Ooh. and then the that's the sergeant. Well, the no, sorry. One of the marines, the marine at the back, is going to throw the frag grenade. The two in the front are going to shoot bolt gun and bolt pistol. But I'll, so I'll do the frag grenade first because mm. it's a different weapon. Mm. Within ten, so. So hang on. Basic rules hit here. Yeah, so maximum range is within ten. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. Is in quite comfortably. Basic roll to hit up to 10 inch. Three or more on a d6. I miss. Mm. Right. Missing. Let's see what happens because I think it scatters. Lost my curves. Throw grenades. Look at my grenades with throw grenades. Everyone risk rolls for scatter using scatter dice and artillery dice. Which I have. That's my misfire There we go. What would you Oh god! It's a dud. I'm glad of that. Yeah, sure it's a dud. Doesn't matter. Because that would end up on my other squad. Yeah. Yeah, it's a misfire, so it's a dud. So you got two, sh two shots. At me. So, the. Hang on. Bolt gun, bolt pistol. Same stance. Yeah, yeah, but it's. E Hang on. We're under 12, aren't we? Definitely. What does it get a plus two? Bolt gun gets. You get plus two as well as a plus one. Oh! Eh? That's fair. As I've just read this and sort of got that doesn't make any sense. Basic roll up to hit up to eight inch, two or more on a d6. Basic roll to hit up to 12, two or more on a d6. Uh huh? There you go, I'm on three, so yeah, because it's, it's uh, sorry, that's it, because it's always on twos because a one is an automatic fail. Mm -hmm. Ah, the bolt pistol failed. Bolt gun hit. Wounds. Wounds. Kills another grot, which will be the guy. So around into the front. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, orc turn three. You need to kill at least one more that squad. No, I don't have to. I have to to cause a break test. I have to inflict twenty five percent in one round, in one turn. Uh, kind of weird. You can kind of do. It, it's the slow drip of casualties, basically. The squad just gets it just gets wiped out. Mm -hmm. I think they've moved into the building, have they? Oh. I'm awful trying to know the end of what the line of sight. They're running, are they? Yeah, no. Because they're not in charge range, so they're there. Uh, you can't run if you're within eight of me. Eight of me. You can mm. basically run. I'd say you run up to how far yeah. out you are from me. Oh, that's, that's three inches. Yeah. If, you're, if you're outside of eight, if, yeah. if you're outside of eight inches of me, then. Okay. Okay. 
Get him. So who's shooting at me first? Okay, so all ten of them. Yeah. You're on um, uh, fours. I believe. Can you hit me? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Seven. Yeah, let's just go three. Five hits. Wounding on One fives. On fives. Three. I need to make three saves. Yeah, me. Made them. How many wounds you got? One? Or Only three? one. Including the commander? Sorry. Only one. Okay. He's just a set. Not just a set. The single one, not all of It's start a game. Nice and simple. No, don't worry about multiple. Two shots. Uh, one didn't build. From the, the rest of it, they can't see. Okay. So two, two more grots or two more gretchen. On fours. Anything? That's it. Um, cause the roadblock. Mm. Turn four, this is it. Final turn, my turn. He's where the flame would have been very useful. That was my intention. Unfortunately, mm. he was the first one. closest target. I didn't deliberately. I know, no, 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 uh, I just want to confirm something in my head. Uh, you know, why not? I'm big and scary and I can probably do this. I'm going to declare a charge against the Grot mod. Okay. So I charge. Never. I'm in. You get four, ten, five, six, ten. No shooting, straight to hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, you get one per basic marine each. Yes. Two for the sergeant. Mm. No, the sergeant just gets one attack. He gets a pl So he gets... So two because two he's got pistol. So he's got two because he's got the chainsaw to go with his bolt mm. pistol. Everyone else just basically has their bolt pistols. Mm. Everyone is on... So I'm throwing mine. You've got three guys you're in um, combat with. So three for you. Why am I using that? Mm -hmm. Special. So uh, really, uh, really, the dice don't like me. I'm good with that. My dice don't like me. Uh, right. So I pick the best out of those two. I add my weapon skill four across the board. You add your weapon skill of two, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have seven, seven. Yeah, and I get plus one because I charge, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That makes all them fives. Yeah. Even more wounds. Eight, eight, seven. Six. And the highest. I win. Okay. I win. I win quite badly and quite well. So who who is in combat with the sergeant? What did he get? Or does it not matter? Because it's just oh, the highest of six so everyone else. Everyone, everyone's basically yeah, because basically everyone, this is what I've got. I'm, I'm I'm talking six. So rolling to wound versus your guys. So what's the height here? Six, five, three. Six, five, three. So I beat one guy by two. Mm -hmm. One guy by three. And one guy by, so I have a seven. By one. By one. Cool. So. A one, two, and a three. Okay. So a one, two, and a three. I'm wounding you on. My brain just gone pop. 
freeze? Mm. Yeah, they free dead. So, that's that. Good to get everybody. It's good to try everything, isn't it? I do my work. Now, because now I need to do I this. run or do yeah, I what, stay? What, what happens afterwards? So, hand to hand combat is complete. Done. Follow ups, nothing. Scroll command, as I say. Models engagement may not move during the movement phase. I'm wondering what I do from the round set. On leadership test. Hold on a second. Apologies, I, I feel like I'm being dumb. Alright. Yeah, saving throw is done. Mm -hmm. You've suffered three. three casualties, which is enough to cause you a morale right. test. The squad must take a break so it loses 25% or more of its number in one turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, how far is that? I'm just reading up to make sure there isn't anything because you've got follow up. So if all the combat combatants' opponents are slain, the model make a special follow up move. Because the example they give is basically everybody just punches everybody to death. Oh, okay, so yeah. Yeah, so current strength to shooting and or hand to hand combat during a single turn. The test is taken so we've suffered enough casualties to warrant it, and only one test is ever, ever taken per turn. Okay. Roll 2d6. Low is good. Four. Any modifiers? No. That's it. You passed. Yeah, you guys continue. Um, you would be. I'm on 50%. That mob. Okay. So. That was somewhat hilarious. Uh, we are still in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so your guys will... Pile in. Yeah, you just move in to engage me in your turn, because you know. kind of have to. Um, yeah, it's your turn, your final turn. That didn't go quite as well as expected. Because <laughs> um. I could only, in fact, well, that's the thing, because I could only hurt the guys in front of me. I can't just wipe out the entire squad. I mean, I probably have to win to do it. Okay, I've done that now. My brain's going, Are you sure you don't inflict hits against the entire orc squad? So I would have killed. You only got three hits. Yeah, again, I only scored three wounds. You got three hit, three wounds, three dead. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. are. I'm thinking more of a later edition. Yeah. Anyway, continue on. I'm possibly just being a bit crazy. No, my so, range. Range. Off your orcs. Yeah. Go off. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, I'm already in combat anyway. Yeah, because they, they, they basically all buddy up. They all buddy up in the combat. No. No. So I we'll have to do this instead. Oh, is everybody? Is everybody getting in? So you're de you're declaring a charge by your other group. Yeah. We were in as well. Aggression's coming in. Ooh, multiple combats. Oh dear God. But not everybody can touch the marines. Mm -hmm. You got ten attacking you. Two groups of five. Group of five we are going to have to pay attention because I think what we'll have to do is oh, probably work it out nice. between. Well, what it has to be is we'll have to work it out between each individual. Yep. Between the marine and his opponent, because I fight one opponent, then a the second opponent, then a third opponent, and so on and so yeah. forth. So it, it gets a bit weird. No shooting. All movement done. Sorry, yep. all movement done. No shooting. So hand to hand. Who do you want to attack with first? This this group of squad of five. Okay. Okay. We'll count the whole mob. Don't care about mobs right now. Well, we'll ten men. It's ten in total. Ten or ten greatly. Shall we start with 
I was going to say, do we want to do this guy against one, two, three? One, yeah. two, three. So three. One, two, three. Get so each space marine is in combat with three. Yeah. Okay. Really easy. So we'll start with this marine, and he mm. will fight his first opponent, and we'll keep going. Okay. So you get. Who do you want to start with? Because if he's just coming, he gets a plus mm. one for charging. Okay. 1d6 in it. 1d6. Okay. Uh, okay. So I get plus two. I get plus four. You get a plus an extra plus one because you charged with that one. Mm -hmm. I'm book because we do multiple combats. That's going to make it even more entertaining. Because multiple combats, you start gaining. I remember if you roll a six, you get a plus one. Okay. And uh, if I roll a one, you get a plus one. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, fumble. If your opponent fumbles, you automatically add one to your dice. And uh, for every six you roll in your attack dice after the first, oh, after the first, mm -hmm. add one to your combat score. So I'm sorry, so if you have two stickers. <laughs> multiple combats. So until models are fighting a single enemy, this is called multiple combat. The player whose number models outnumber lone player may choose which of his models attacks first and you do combat 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 every mm -hmm. for the every so in this case so for the second and third Gretchen you'll get a plus one and then a plus two okay mm. oh and you get an, an extra attack die so hang on yeah, did it. this time okay so if the outnumbered model survives he must then fight the next attack chosen by the opposing player but this time the enemy model rolls one extra attack dice and you get to add plus one to your combat score. So numbers help. Yeah, That's the reason why the whole argument that the, 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 nid, the nid broods can mm -hmm. cut their way through most opponents yeah. if they get in. First combat is him and him, correct? Yeah. Okay. I have a grand total of nine. Do all dodge with figure. We're just doing one at a time. Yeah. Just I've leave got it. Nine. So you've got nine each. Okay, a draw. <laughs> mm. Okay, one with the highest initiative. Okay, in the case of a tie, the model with the highest initiative wins the combat and inflicts one hit. I have initiative four. So I win. I inflict one hit on you. Mm -hmm. Roll into wound. I wound you. He's dead. So the first one is first got is killed from that mob, if you want to keep them separate. Mm. Okay, so he's killed. Right, your next guy. So I roll again. You now get two attack dice and, a and an extra plus one. Oh god, I think he's done. Uh, you get to add plus one, I just rolled a one. I'll get plus ones. And now I'm putting the weapon skill. Add your weapon skill. Twelve. Oh, seven. Seven? Eh? I thought it was the highest dice. Yes, you so you get an extra dice, you then remove that dice and you pick your highest dice and then you add everything else. So you get a plus one added to that dice, you then get another Six. plus one for because you charged, and you get another plus one because you are because uh, you're because you're mobbing you're you're mobbing me. So how many have you got? Nine. Nine to my six, you inflict three potential chance three wounds on me or three hits on me you now need to wound me on fives one one i get to save that oh, he's dead he's killed so first marine before he drops so he doesn't have any account so we move to this one so pick one. his first combatant this one. okay so one apiece and you want to charge again? Okay. Plus charge. Just roll your d6 oh, first. Roll your d6 first, and then we'll work I out did. your pluses. I've got all oh, three dice. No, you roll oh, no. this is a new combat. Yeah, I've got two plus one because I charged. Yep, that's it. And plus two for your weapon skill. Two. Okay, I win that one because I have six to your five. So I inflict one hit on you. Mm -hmm. He's dead. So there's another one killed. No, him. So he was in. So I roll. So roll your attack. You see, you get two attack dice. Pick your highest. 
He didn't charge, but he gets a plus one because he's mobbing me. Mm -hmm. What's your final score? Nine. I add two to that. Two, yeah, so yeah, that's what I was going to say. Then you beat me by two because I have a seven, so you inflict two wounds on me. One save. Made. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that's second combat done. Yeah. Third combat? Yes, there is. It was a third one. So again, so you now get three dice. Pick the highest. The hell? You're going to get fired in a minute. So plus three and plus two for your weapon skill. Uh, didn't charge. Nothing else. I have a grand total of six. On fives again. One. one. I only need one hit. So. Well, let's, let's finish off the combat because the sergeant's yeah, basically yeah. all that's left. One the charge, so it's one dies. I get two because I get. Oh, Jesus Christ in hell! Why? Yeah. Two. You get a plus one because I fumbled. I'm choosing another dice. You're fired. You're fired next. Um, right. Uh, so starting again. Your whatever you rolled. Um, nine total. Nine total. Oh, great. You inflict four hits on me. One to save. Ah, saved. So, second close combat. Fired as well. So, pick your highest. Yep. Plus one given. He didn't charge, did he, that one? No. Okay, so, plus one for being the second combat. And that's it. Plus two weapon skill. And plus two weapon skill. Your final no. score? Nine. Nine, I have an eight, you inflict one wound on me. No. My last man. Last man, you get three dice. I say that. Have I, gone that, have I done that right? Hang on. Yeah, so two dice. So you, yeah, you get three dice in total, plus two. Ooh, that's better. I'll just leave them there. Plus two. This one didn't charge, so it's a five, two weapon skill, plus one, so I'm, I'm, my brain is going to sleep. So your best score out five. of all three, plus two because you are the second, or you're the, you're the next multiple combat. You didn't charge. Uh, That's two. it. Weapon skill of two. Yeah. Final score is nine again. Nine to my nine. I beat you because I've got a higher initiative. I inflict one hit. I wound you. Yeah, it's another crop dead. Okay. Yeah, it's a so. I'm tempted to. Shall I just do my morale test and see if my guy's actually still there? Yeah, he is. <laughs> I've got five. Right, your next attack, because I think you've still got at least one more. No, I haven't. That's all ten. All nine. You said ten. Ten. Oh, I've got one attack. Right? you got one more against. And he did he's attack. No, sorry, because he didn't get to do it. No, yeah, no, nice. go on, go on. Let's, let's see if I can kill another guy, because that'll, for that'll, for that'll force a morale test on your two Gretchen mobs. But a four dice to start with. This is the a fourth attack on the yeah, side. Yeah, so his base of attack plus three. Mm. Let's see what my dice is. Definitely that. Two for weapon skill. Mm -hmm. What was your highest dice, by the way? Six. Okay. So, two. Do you have any other sixes? No. Did you get any ones? Yes. 
How many? One. Okay, so I get her added plus one to mine. So based your what have you rolled on your highest dice? Yep. Plus two for your weapon skill. Yep. Plus three because you are combat number four. Okay. Your final score. Eleven. Oh, you beat me by one. I got a ten in total. You inflict one one hit on me. You don't wound me. Yeah. I think you're too. Do your two Gretchen mobs need to take morale tests now? Uh, one lost one. The, the squad are the yeah, they lost four. one. A new one lost two. So they don't need it, do they? No. Okay. <laughs> Game ends. Because my guy stands, because I roll. I went, oh, you know, I'll roll my day. <laughs> I got a five in total. My <laughs> um. I don't, I don't know what was my what, what do I need to get the victory point? Kill the squad. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I had to. Yeah, I didn't. I get nothing because I didn't inflict any. I think I get one. Uh, kill three or more casualties. Yeah, I suffered four casualties, so yeah. You get. So this time, yeah, Dave, you've won both games. Congratulations. Yeah. That was hard work. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to say this one. As soon as I made my move and then you, you, you did your first turn, I just looked at it. Well, I'm an idiot. Yeah. First game, I tried to keep at least one of the units out of range. That's what I started here mm. in New there. And that way I was trying to come round, taking on one squad at a time. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it's a good way of doing it. And this one, one to know where you started. Tell me off round what round the end of one building mm. and bring the Gretchen up here, always having one that can shoot. Mm. Well I tried to do with the grot with the orcs. Yeah. And then with the second one it was just mm. Takes on remembering now that the set of rules. I don't think I ever fought in second edition before. Um, I think the earliest was about five, possibly four. It was the earliest I think I played. I started with second mm. back in the deepest, darkest early 90s. No. <laughs> I didn't, because I didn't get my guard and my Chaos Marines and my sisters until much later. Mm -hmm. I think it was about fourth edition. Mm -hmm. Might have been third edition. I think it was like, I think the earliest it was third. I'm tempted mm -hmm. to say it was probably more like fourth edition, was by the time I actually managed to fear. I had the guard and I had the Chaos Marines. I remember that I think. The Chaos Marines are probably the army that I've played the most with. Mm. The Guard have come out second as many. Your daughters use my, use the sisters more than I have. Mm. My wife. The suggestion is, do you know, I was that side of the building and you were there. Mm. You should have gone that way. These, these squads couldn't shoot and use it against only an orc. And if you, I, I, I had a, I had an idea and didn't quite work out the way I yeah. hoped it to. If the frag grenade had gone off, it would have worked uh, fine, but it didn't. I'm just impressed that the frag grenade is a two-inch template. Because yeah. it would have, it would have wiped one of your mobs. You, you were aiming there. Yeah, I'd, I'd have wiped a mob. And it scattered, and direction scatter was onto this squad. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, I, I want to say. I was All aiming. You need I'm going to take a four. I'm going to do hit something. A two or a four. A two, you would have hit both squads. But, oh, thank God. Can I have my sergeant back? Um, I want to ask us. Everything here is from the original from the original box set. Now I have two copies of this. I've got this lot, which is in bits, if you want to put it this yeah. way, and then I've got my other copy, which is still in the cellophane. 
Never been opened, literally. And the, the, That's a flex. And the original Titanicus book. I also have Tyranid Attack still in its cellophane. I have Warhammer Third Edition, the Fantasy mm -hmm. Battles one, which is where you've got the the goblins versus the high elves. Mm -hmm. That one we took the cellophane off, took the lid off, mm -hmm. had a look at some of the sprues, put everything back in, and left it on the side because mm -hmm. we played. We were using Battle Masters at the time, mm -hmm. so we just played Battle Masters. Yeah, let's play that again. You want to do a second? We could do the second scenario that one. That was it was a bit of fun. It was. It was nice. It was bloody and it was quick. It was hard work. It's surprising. It's, it's, surpri you. it's surprisingly how violent that game is, mm -hmm. but it's 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 it was actually very very rapid. We could yeah. we could play the second scenario at some point if you want. Yeah. Because it's 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 to try and just bring the boxes along, throw the mat out, and then we just mm. I think what was this. Mm.